Hello and welcome, this is Blockchain Bloom, the Blockchain Educator. In today's video I'm going to talk about that Bloomberg is very bullish on Bitcoin and uh, they predict that uh, Bitcoin can reach new all-time highs in this year in 2020. Also, uh, the second news will be that a new Bitcoin core code uh, is out uh, and it was uh, released yesterday and uh, it has a new function called ASMAP or ASMAP and what it does, I'm going to tell you in this video. Also, there was an attack and 5,000 email addresses were stolen from CoinSquare and uh, most likely they will be used for SIM swapping attacks and uh, how it could be dangerous, I'm also going to tell you in uh, this video. So, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, then please do so now. Click on the subscribe button because I deliver you the freshest news in cryptocurrency and blockchain every day, every day, new video from Monday to Friday. And you definitely should uh, click on the notification bell as well to receive it as soon as it is out. I'm usually putting them uh, on YouTube uh, around lunchtime, Central European time. And uh, now it's time to check uh, the market. So Bitcoin uh, is right now in plus uh, in the last 24 hours, 1.20% uh, at 9,641 dollar per Bitcoin. Let's check the three number three uh, winners: uh, Hedge Trade, uh, 31% in plus, Loopring, 20%, and uh, Sia Coin, 18%. So they're doing pretty well, uh, and here are the others. Let's check the losers, uh, not big losers, you know, look at, it's just like uh, small percentages. Uh, two, three, four percent in cryptocurrency is just nothing. So WeChain minus four percent, ABBC coin minus two percent, and Hyperion also minus two percent. And uh, now let's jump into the first news I wanted to discuss, which is uh, Bloomberg. It's very bullish on blockchain. And, uh, you know, basically, uh, Bloomberg is the number one um, uh, finance software uh, provider on the market. And they have, <clears throat> you know, they are big in media. They have uh, Bloomberg News, Bloomberg Television, Bloomberg Radio. They have the newsletters. They have two magazines, which is Bloomberg uh, Business Week and the Bloomberg Markets. So they spread the news in the financial world all around the world. And if they think that Bitcoin is something uh, to, you know, think about it seriously, and uh, they bullish on it, it's a very good sign for Bitcoin, because uh, the news, what uh, Bloomberg uh, spreads, and also they think they believe in it. So it's just not just like putting something on their platform, it's their opinion. Uh, this is very positive for the Bitcoin community. And... Uh, we have this uh, summary uh, about it on uh, Cointelegraph and uh, they basically say that uh, Bitcoin, it uh, can be in this year even 20,000, so it's a new all-time high. It will break the record which was in 2017, but they even, even assume that it can reach uh, 28,000. And, uh, you know, this is really bullish on uh, Bitcoin. They really believe that we are right now where we were in 2016. And in 2016, uh, the price really doubled in Bitcoin uh, from the beginning till the end of 2016. So till end of 2017. And we all know who were, fo who were focused on Bitcoin in that time, that 2017 was the greatest year ever for Bitcoin after that. So if we follow this pattern, if that really works out again, then it could happen that Bitcoin doubles in this year and can reach around 20,000 and even higher, which is a new all-time high. And then 2021 could be the next big year for Bitcoin. So let's see that the, the pattern, which worked in the past, it works out now. But it's definitely a very good sign that these guys at Bloomberg are bullish about Bitcoin. It's pushing it uh, really well. And not just them, you know, Grayscale. I have talked about them a couple of times in my uh, video. It's a big investment group. They're buying amazing amount of Bitcoin this year. So And they uh, collecting, collecting more and more. So yeah, actually, these are really good signs. Okay, um, next news 
it's the <clears throat> the latest Bitcoin Core code was uh, released. And the one function which it has is the ASMAP. Uh, AS stands for uh, Autonomous... Uh, oh, what is it? I just missed it. Yeah, Autonomous System, sorry. And um, which it does that uh, it will make Bitcoin even more decentralized. The whole point of Bitcoin to being decentralized. But, you know... Uh, it could happen uh, in the past that uh, you know the uh, nodes were kind of in in same location, which verified uh, the transactions. And now with this uh, S map, they can uh, make it sure that the nodes will be all coming from all around the world. Not it it will decrease the possibility to coming from from one area, for example. And uh, this will um, decrease the risk uh, that certain data is uh, withheld. So this is a very positive thing for Bitcoin, and it makes it even more decentralized. So it's 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 a new thing. It's just out, and um, yeah, it will definitely help, in my opinion. And the third one I wanted to discuss was that five thousand emails were stolen from CoinSquare, but it's, it's, they are actually a Canadian-based uh, cryptocurrency exchange. And it didn't happen now, it happened 18 months before. So it's not a new thing, but the news is just out now. And uh, they're afraid that, uh, you know, these data will use for uh, SIM swapping attacks. And when it comes to this SIM verification kind of thing when you're using your phone number receiving an SMS uh, for uh, to verify a transaction. I think it's really not a good idea because it's kind of easy for hackers if they control that data to simply uh, call up uh, the company, the, the network provider who you have and then using your SIM they actually can change the phone number and from that on you will re receive the verification to that number and uh, therefore you know it's uh, it makes it very risky the best thing i can advise you to use instead of that so if you had anything to do with um coin square in the last 18 months just be aware of it but actually in the future i would definitely uh, advise you use even the google authenticator or there are other authenticators out like Authy, because these are great you know here you can see these numbers the six number uh, in this case for example in google authenticator and these numbers are refreshing in every minute or so and this is an app you can download it on your uh, phone and uh, this is much, much, much safer way to verify uh, anything, basically, and not using your phone number. That could be uh, risky. So this is just uh, an idea. If you're using that kind of verification, I would be strongly advised to move on and uh, change it to an authenticator app. That's much safer. So... Pretty much that's it, what I wanted to say uh, today. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, do it now because I give you the freshest news from Monday to Friday, every day, new video out here on YouTube and you should press the notification bell as well so you get the fresh video immediately. But I usually put the videos on uh, around lunchtime, Central European time. And you can also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, of course. So I wish you a great day. And as I said, I'm coming every day from Monday to Friday with a new video. So I'm back tomorrow again, of course. So have a nice day. See you. Bye-bye.